It's the Black Real Estate Dialogue. Tune in. Tune in. Tune in. An 84-year-old woman is going to be forced to leave the home that she's lived in for over 60 years. Thanks for tuning in. Definitely make sure you subscribe and like this video if you're on YouTube. If you're on audio, make sure to leave that five-star rating and review. And also, if you are interested in learning how to invest out of state, if you live somewhere where it's incredibly expensive, join my workshop, which is going to be four weeks long, starting on January 17th. Go to outofstatemoney.com forward slash workshop if you're interested. All right. I'm Sam. I'm an out-of-state investor. Thank you again for tuning into the Black Real Estate Dialogue. So the way we're going to do today's episode is we are going to check out different parts of the news clip from this headline I just mentioned. And what I'm going to do is break it down as simply as possible so we can understand what's going on. And then I'm also going to give you encouragement on what you might want to consider to avoid getting in the situation that this family is currently in. The American dream is a paid for house, right? Free and clear of a mortgage offering up with it some financial security. Corinne Woodson has that, or so she thought. The Woodson family purchased property 40 acres outside of Auburn in the early 1900s. Now back then, this was well outside of the city limits. And now this air property has been passed down through generations and has also become prime real estate in Auburn's booming Moores Mill area. The land has been eyed by investors for decades and soon a forced sale will happen. Now, based on what property in the area is selling for currently, this land could be worth $20 million. Mrs. Corinne Woodson has lived at this house on Hamilton Road in Auburn for more than 60 years. But soon, at 83, she'll be forced to move out. I'd like to ask them why. You know. Wow. But I don't, I can't figure it out. You know, I've been thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Wondering about it. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 not, it's not easy, I can tell you that. The property where the house sits is part of a 40-acre piece of land, family land that belonged to her late husband's father. When he died, it was left to his children or their designated heirs. Dozens of people have a stake in this property, and some want to sell. The owners are called tenants in common, meaning no one has a specific piece of the property, just a percentage. When one owner wants to sell or files a partition in court, everyone has to sell. All right, so before I jump into anything, I want to clearly define what heirs property is. I never heard of it before hearing about this story, so I'm going to break it down and explain the definition fully before we go any further. All right, so heirs' property is property passed to family members by inheritance, usually without a will or estate planning strategy. It is typically created when land is passed on from someone who dies without a will to those legally entitled to their property, such as a spouse, children, or other relatives. However, if the title remains in the original owner's name, it is considered cloudy, negatively impacting the heirs. Land may pass through several generations without a will, increasing the number of heirs and causing complex legal issues like what we are learning about today. Heirs property can be mitigated through appropriate business entities and succession planning. Heirs property is most predominant among African-American landowners contributing to land loss from 16 million to 4.7 acres over the last 100 years. So this is crazy. Obviously, this is a big issue and has been an issue within our community for many years. And as they mentioned in the video, the value of the total land the family still owns could be worth up to $20 million. But based on the complexity of how everything is split up, I'm not even sure how much she would have in her pocket once this thing is all said and done. And again, I'm not blaming her whatsoever. It just seems like there was just ignorance and just not understanding what was going on. So I'm not blaming her. And to be honest, you know, an 84 year old woman, it was very hard to watch that clip for me, honestly. Maybe you felt the same, but this just emphasizes the importance of having a proper estate plan. So make sure you stay till the end. I'm going to explain some ways that you can get that started if your family owns land or property 
or if you will own in the future. It's important to start thinking about these kind of things right now. And, you know, it's a shame. This family acquired this land in the early 1900s, which is really unprecedented. And it's a shame that it might all be gone very, very soon. And this is just something that I is heartbreaking. And I truly do empathize with the families. I wonder if as this company was buying out people over the years, if there was any conversation among the family members. I'm not sure. It's really hard to say. The only one who, who speaks, which you'll see, is her daughter. So let's check out the second half of the clip and then we'll break that down a little bit further. Her property is 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 one of those areas. I know she was living in the, the, the home, but um, it was owned by the land and the land is sold, then uh, she would possibly have to, to move. Um, you know, it had been a much different situation if her and um, the other family members that, that owned it, then they all equally uh, were sharing the ownership and they all would equally have to make a joint decision on what it is they were going to do. Obviously, um, you know, if you had ownership in it, you had the right to partition and get your, to sell your interest in it. Um, and then the family could buy your interest out to keep a third party from coming in and assuming your interest. Um, but because she was living in a house that was owned by the property that then got uh, given to another family member, then she's at the whim of whatever ultimately happens with that sale. Enter into this scenario with the Woodson family, Cleveland Brothers Incorporated. Through the years, they've bought different family members' interests in the property and now own 49% of the 40 acres. Soon, they'll have the chance to buy it all. The property is currently under a court-ordered appraisal, and when it's done, the Cleveland Brothers can purchase it outright. When a partition begins, the courts provide a deadline for any owner to come forward who wishes to buy the property outright. The Cleveland Brothers did that. Corinne Woodson did not, because as far as Mrs. Woodson is concerned, she already owns the property. But she's filed a motion for the opportunity to purchase, and the court says it's too late. I have even said, nobody can just put you off of your property. And my family uh, members have said, no, they're not going to do that. You know, so we were, I guess, naive or or not up to par on the the law based on that time frame, but I mean, it's happening right before our eyes, you know, and the sad thing is there's very little that we can do about it. So when the dust settles, Mrs. Woodson will have to find a new home. Billy Cleveland of Cleveland Brothers Incorporated tells me that he'll let her stay on that property in her Hamilton Road home for a year after the sale is officially completed. Now, we don't know what that appraisal will say officially when it comes in, but a good example, like I mentioned, of property prices in that area, there are multiple two-acre lots within three miles of this location selling for half a million dollars each. By that math, the Woodson property, which some would say is in an even better location, could be worth upwards of $20 million. So a couple other things I'm wondering about is as folks were selling their percentage of the land, I'm wondering if they even got a fair deal. I wonder if they even got the market value that their percentage was truly worth or if they just took a lowball offer and took the cash and, and walked away. There's a lot of unanswered questions here. And the crazy thing is she would have had an opportunity to come and try to buy it outright, but she didn't know. She didn't even know that she could do that until it was too late, which is which is incredibly sad. And if I was that company, I would pay for her to move somewhere or help her out in a way that's a little more sustainable because, I mean, I don't know her current financial situation, but she's a widow. She's 84 years old. And I think it will be the right thing to do to help her a little bit more than just letting her stay there for a year. So it's super, super sad. So here's my encouragement to you. If you own anything. If you own land, if you own a property, it doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, make sure you have a clear estate plan in place so that your family can avoid these kind of situations. If you have a relative who's elderly, who owns land or owns one or more properties, make sure they have their affairs in order. You don't want to wait until they're sick to make sure that the affairs are in order. We need to be proactive as a community we can't let these things continue to happen. And I learned something new today. I didn't know what heirs property was. So hopefully you learned that too. And you know, it's the hot around the holidays where people are spending time with their families in many cases anyway. So call up those elderly relatives, call up your aunts, your uncles, your family members, make sure they all have estate plans in place. It's incredibly important and we can't continue to 
lose land as a community and sell it for pennies on the dollar because of ignorance and not knowing the proper estate planning. If you need to talk to an attorney, look for someone who specializes in estate planning, who can help walk you and your family through the process to make sure you can avoid this kind of grief decades down the line, right? This is something we really need to get a handle of. And, you know, our community, like the statistics said, has lost a ton of land because of issues like these. So let's do our best to get it together. Again, I don't blame this family at all. They just were not aware. They just didn't know. And with this information, now we know. We know what to look out for. We know what to do. We learn what heirs' property is. So I implore you to take this seriously. Again, call your relatives, call your family, make sure everybody has something set up so you can avoid this situation in the future. All right, definitely make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's further questions you have or if there's anything you want me to maybe create a video on to explain a little bit further. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Also, if you are somebody who lives in an expensive area where it's pretty much impossible to invest, I encourage you to consider investing out of state. I'm having a four week workshop starting on January 17th. We're going to talk about how to find the right location, how to build your team, finding and analyzing properties, creative financing, and so much more. I'm only hosting a few next year, so definitely make sure you secure your seat. If you're interested and you want to buy an out of state property in the next 12 months and you're serious, go to outofstatemoney.com forward slash workshop. You can also find the link in the description of this episode. All right. So if you're on YouTube, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're listening on audio, make sure you leave that five-star rating and review it takes just a moment and it goes a long way. All right. Thank you all so much. Talk to you soon. What's up y'all? Sam here from the Black Real Estate Dialogue podcast. Thank you so much for watching another episode. Definitely take a moment to subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Also visit our website, blackrealestatedialogue.com and follow on Instagram at Black Real Estate Dialogue. Talk to you soon.